So in the previous video, I was taking the multimeter reading and now we are going to compare it with the DT266 clamp meter. Now the multimeter shows a bit higher reading this time because it's the midnight. So it is pretty obvious. Let's disconnect the circuit and reconnect the wires. So as you can see the circuit is all set, the wires are connected. Let's see now. It's showing a reading of 246 volts considering the voltage is around 240 this time. It's a pretty significant amount of rise in voltage as it shows right here. Anyways, I'm gonna just overlook for the sake that it is a cheap multimeter type clamp meter. So it's not a big deal because I can just uh, adjust with the zero error and uh, reduce the value to its base value and it would still result in a 240 volt AC supply. Now this time we are not gonna compare things with the multimeter because we have this clamp meter feature of this clamp meter and uh, the multimeter cannot do non-invasive testing so it's up to the calculation and the observation now for this we're gonna test on our air conditioner and going by the calculation our air conditioner is a voltage ac and it is around 1340 kilowatt uh, it's 1340 watt and considering the power factor to be 0.92 as it is running right now and the voltage right now is 240 volts it should be measuring in the current mode that is the around 6.06 .06 amperes or at around 6 ampere let's see how much it measures in current mode and in current mode we're just gonna remove the probes as from here and only use the clamp so as you can see the AC is currently in its boost cooling mode that is it's operating in its full load and the compressor is still active so let us measure the current which the AC draws the current is reading a very fluctuating value but if I can get just the maximum value then it gives me around 5.7 amperes which is nearly 5.8 amperes or which is a bit closer technically if I can just hold the value it's like holding a fly in your hand but if you can hold the value it is always to consider the maximum value and the maximum value was 5.8 amps so technically the current reading is more or less within the tolerance range but the fact is that oh it turned 5.9 so the current limit is pretty much in the tolerance value nothing to complain about that but the resistance is literally off limits for this clamp meter and it's pretty much fluctuating a uh, much so a specific feature of this clamp meter is that when the current goes higher the accuracy goes higher too